Welcome to Bass and Bonsai. We are going to try to get out here and on it. I went to the Odessa Reservoir. That's got crazy grass growing up. And someone had commented, uh, Chad, I believe, was saying that. Because that, I went about a month ago and did like so-so there, but there was hardly no grass. Now, crazy grass, so I, I didn't stay there. I went to uh, another spot that it takes a little bit to get into. And it, we've had so much rain. We've had like three days of rain, just the soaking rain. So this place here is not that far off the road. And it, it, in all honesty, it's not like down in to where I, I might get stuck. I, sh I shouldn't get stuck. I shouldn't have to leave ruts or anything. So that's kind of why we're here. And I was here just two weeks ago and actually did real good. But anyway, we're going to jump out here. It is 8.30 a.m. I think we've missed any topwater bites. So we're probably going to be trying to hit them with chatterbaits, little cranks, and then, of course, you know, worms and crawls and creatures. Oh my, that kind of deal. So buckle up, hang on, we're gonna get it's a good old AliExpress chatterbait. And this is a style I recommend. If you watch the video, me and Charles kind of compared some of the different ones, and he loves those casking ones. I do not like them. I admit they may have a I don't know a harder thumping feel. But I don't think, I think it's because they don't clatter. Oh, there was a bump. I think it's because the blade is not hitting the head. And I think the blade hitting the head is what's more attracting to the bass than the necessarily blade making a harder. I mean, because chatterbaits just thump, 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 and they shake your rod. And I think, oh, is that, there we go, like that. I mean, I go by what? Oh, it's a giant. That's a giant. I go by what the bass tell you. And the giant bass tell you that they like that. Heads like, oh my goodness. Boys and girls, fish of the day. I need to get it in it. Oh, it just took me under. Oh my God. That is a monster. Oh, oh my gosh. There it is. I'm telling you guys. I started to, oh, hang on. Watch that fish, watch it. We're gonna get a weight, look at that. Get over here, oh, you giant, it's been a while. Oh my God, oh, it's peeing. Ooh, look out, it's gonna pee on you. <laughs> Woo! That, my friends, last week, the bait, uh, I hooked it in his tongue. The bait fell apart, and I, I did, that's an AliExpress, uh, trailer and skirt that I stuck on our AliExpress knockoff that bait has caught a ton of bass but none this big yet let's so now take you a look at this fish before we get a weight oh man battery is about ready to go dead on that GoPro but okay everybody one last look uh, I weighed her believe it or not uh, the GoPro battery went dead so I just slapped in a battery who knows who knows how to switch out a GoPro battery one hand I do but I don't have any of the other stuff it's sitting down there so we're gonna release old girl. I just want you guys to see the release. We're gonna let her swim off. Look at that. Okay, I know it's windy, but I'm gonna get you guys back out uh, on the mount and we're gonna go back to fishing. But that fish did not weigh five pounds. A lot of times you can just throw a little chatter, chatter, don't matter. Come out a little ways and nail ya. That is not big. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watch me, I hesitate. I'm like, is there even a fish on it? Because it felt so, uh, the last fish was that monster. I didn't feel hardly any resistance. I was like, is that even a fish? And yeah, it is. It's a bass on a chatterbait. Kind of a little dude. We don't need to pick a you, that's for sure. But, we do need a jumper. We haven't had a jumper in forever. For, forever. What do you guys think? Is that little dude gonna jump? Sure he is. No, oh God, I thought for sure when I let him go, he was jumping. All right, get back on here. You guys get back, wait right there. I'm gonna catch you another one. Hold still. All right, the plan's working. I'm trying to put today, the fishing part anyway is one whole video and I may make some separate 
uh, rod and reel combo videos. You guys see that? I may make some separate, you know, my combo, like in each individual deal showing a bait and just working it or whatever. But uh, I'm hoping to have all the fish that I catch in this video on one video. Ah. Let's try one super slow. There should be a bass right, right here. That shot right there should be a bass. Still, feel that blade ticking. Feel it bouncing off the bottom or whatever. Oh, that should have been a fish. That was a fish. It just took him. It just took him a long time to get there and grab it. I knew there should have been another one. The little dudes always tend to run together. Right. Right. All right. I'm going to throw you guys back on the chesty and get into it. I'm going to get serious. We're going to get serious about catching some of these largemouth bass. No, I don't think I kissed any of them. For luck. Whee! Let's go. We are on them with our changed out. Got a little different color going to it. But it is still on fire and working. Right? Of course it is. Okay, I'm going to change it up a bit. That bait is definitely working, okay? We've, you know, had a couple little taps. We've caught three fish for sure. So here's the trailer I'm using on it that I've had rigged up on this. And it did work at another place. I haven't really had any luck here yet. I've cast it a few times. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slow down and I'm going to try to get a fish on this. And then I'm also going to try... Uh, a couple different color chatter baits basically to see you know did we just luck into we have the perfect color and everything working right or is there you know multiple things that will work now i may have to swim this because we're on this you guys can make that out it's like every cast if i'm throwing by the gunk i get gunk even if i don't think i'm really on there's like just gunk everywhere that makes sense so I'm gonna try to do this kind of like I would a chatterbait I'm gonna throw it along the edge but I'm gonna swim it oh it, I got a fish there's a fish on there the dragon oh so yeah that worked <laughs> that fish get in here so yeah, that plan worked. I'm gonna get a quick pick. Oh, there's something right under the boat. Remember where we're at. There is a big glob like on the depth finder directly under this boat. I don't know, that could be a bed. I don't know, I'll be back, hang on. All right, look at that shot. Got a pick, awesome. We got a jumper. Okay, I was gonna try to make him jump, but here, like. I'm going to drop this straight down. Somewhere right in here, there's a big blob. I think we're almost, I think it's actually right out there. There was like a big something right under the boat. Yeah, we may have missed opportunity. Hang on, let's get back out here. So if you can make that out, I don't know if you guys can see that. So when I'm swimming it, those tails, I mean, it looks like something swim. It's a little more subtle than, say, a chatterbait. But it's kind of the perfect color right now this time of year. This kind of mossy gunk is what we had at the place me and Charles were at last week. And it's like a bright color the fish can see, but it's a natural color. It's something they're, you know, they've seen. They're seeing right now. So when they see something up there jumping and moving that looks like a crawdad, which crawdads tend to blend into their environment, that's what I think they think a chatterbait is, is a crawdad, not necessarily. Oh, there's a... I told you guys right at the boat. Oh, that is not the big blob I saw. <laughs> I There's something, it may be a little stump or something. 
But I knew, I was like, there's something right under it. This is a little fatty. Oh, hang on, let me show you guys this little. Oh, this is like a deformed. Look at that little dude. Oh, he's cute. I need a pic of him. Let me back up. I know. Big old guy going, oh, that's cute. But look at that. Let me try to get a. He's a little humpback. You guys make that out? That is not a normal shape of a bass. He's got that hump, more like a cichlid, like a, get that top knot on him. That's cool. I like that. Look at that little fish. I need a little pick. Hang on. Ooh. All right. Oh, now let's try to, oh, I'm going to put, I'm going to put it right by a few of these little stumps. Got one. I'm going to put it right by. Oh, you get back here, you dirty dog. Yeah. <laughs> I knew we'd be passing up some opportunities. There's some bass, they just get up to them stumps and they will not come off of them unless you... Hey, did you see him? He thought it was still in his mouth. I'm trying to just get along them edges where I can see the gunk. Basically trying to get... Oh, right at the boat. Oh man, that sucker, I saw him too. Water's just clear enough, and that bait was close enough to the boat. I saw him come up and attack it. So, still working, but I don't know. I'm wondering if there isn't something better that would work better right now. Maybe not. Okay, I raced the footage. Didn't catch anything, but I took that other bait and threw it right down the center there a couple times. One time a little closer to the bank, once right in the middle the first time. No bites, nothing, but we're going to go through there, but I'm going to try this. We're going to try our cars of two out, and that is the other AliExpress color that I haven't really tried yet. So I got it rigged up with sort of a, for a couple reasons, it can be a lighter bait with that little bit smaller swim bait. And it's just a little di different look, but we're trying that out. That other bait does work, just a creature by itself, but I don't think it's working as good as the chatter bait that has the creature on it. So let's just see if another chatter bait color, a little bit different profile is working also. I would think this should work. I think this is going to be a very good combo. Uh, so far, I like it. I think once I get a few of these medium lights start showing up, I'm going to really like those for these chatter baits that are coming from AliExpress. I think these rods, the lights, the feeling, even this one and the uh, Tetan for that matter, just a touch too light for, you know, your 3 8 and definitely half ounce chatter bait. They're just you can do it. You could get out there if you had to, but I think like the Tatula and then some of these medium lights that are going to show up would probably be excellent for this. This bait looks good. It just, I'll be honest, these colors, I've had, I had a jackhammer that color. I think I end up cutting the skirt off. I don't find this color chatterbait to be that good for me, that real bright bellied one. The bright like green belly with the darker green. Not one of my favorite chatterbaits. I just maybe need to throw it more though. But I don't know. This is actually a good little six foot three. Uh, considered a light. It's throwing this chatterbait. Like, I'm not sure this may be a 10 gram chatterbait with that trailer should still it's still pretty heavy weight Get way out there reach out there So I can tell it's definitely lighter than a half ounce chatterbait with a good trailer on it Somebody's probably thinking throw the frog up through that gunk Back 
backside of this gunk. Look at this mossy, gunky crap. I know I should try frog. I never have any luck with the frog in here. The reason why I haven't even thrown one yet. I know there's not top water on, but a lot of times I'll go to places that have this kind of thing going on and you can, they're still up under that gunk because it's like shading them out of the sun. And they'll hit top water, but well, this bait ain't getting nothing. You can definitely cast like all of the line off the lingo. It's like about 120 foot is what it holds. 10 pound braid. There's one. I felt that. Okay, maybe I just need to throw it a little longer. Can the boat flip? Oh yeah. That is a fat chunk. That fish is beat to smithereens. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's from being hooked before or what, but look at that. He's got a big indent in his face. We gotta get a pick. I think, is that the first fish on our Carza? Of any size anyway. All I'll right. be right back. Got a pick. Get the phone hidden here. Let's see if we got a jumper. That fish is gonna be a jumper. That is a mean old jumper. Get out there and jump. Get out there and jump. You know you want to jump. Come on. Get out there. Oh! Man, that fish started to jump. Oh, dag nabbit. Okay, that's our other... Uh, I can't remember if this is the actual one that was called the Jackie Hama, like the black and blue one I know is, but they're the same bait. You can tell the ones that I'm getting that I've already lost the skirt. They're very, very good baits. They just work. And this car's a two rod. Thanks again, Jay. Jay recommended. Now, me and Charles both do, do not like the overall the fact that that uh, John Coo rod has that blue on it. I just couldn't make myself like that rod. But so far, this rod, soft touch, looks of it. It's got that good, nice, like a JDM style look to it and feel is awesome. I kind of wish it was six foot six but it's six foot three light it just feels real good and it's a uh, hopefully it's durable because it it's got a nice feel and for the money it's definitely hard to beat let's see if we can catch another one all right everybody i'm putting it in to this show right now but we're going to get a show stuff before you so we're up in about as dirt shallow as you can get, right? It's uh, crazy moss, super shallow. I'm gonna try to catch one more bass on this AliExpress. I, I still call them jackhammer knockoffs because they made this more or less to be and work pretty much like the jackhammer, right? And the other one I have, you can kind of tell it's starting to get beat up. So this blade definitely hits right on the head of that. So awesome bait. I guess that's what we can take from this video. Chatterbait bites starting to come around. And you guys know I love throwing chatterbaits. Uh, so far, I can recommend this Carza 2 rod. And thanks again, Jay recommended it to me. Jay's a subscriber. Eugene's like, what's his channel? Jay doesn't have a channel. As far as I know, Jay never told me he had a channel if he does. But Jay lives down in Florida. And is always commenting on the, and you, like you guys should at the end of these videos, and recommended this Carza 2. I ordered a medium light, if you guys don't know that story. Six foot six medium light's what I ordered. I got a six three light, which seems fine. It throws this and can get down in there pretty low also. And of course the lingle. If you guys don't know about the lingle, they've taken them off right now. You can still look it up, uh, Shing He Ling Long on AliExpress, and you can find it for 99 bucks. I'm tempted to just buy another one. But this rod, I would call more, it's a little bit stiffer than the Tetan. So there's technically lights, but they're almost in that medium light range. And I'm going to get, I got three medium lights coming and we'll find out exactly where they are to that. But so far, yes, on the Carza 2. The Carza 2 is a $70 rod, 70 to 75, depending on what length you get. 
And once that medium light comes in, and Kyrum official store, that's who makes this to Kyrum. That's what's names on it anyway. I don't know who makes it for them. It's supposed to be hooking me up with the right one for free, basically. That's going to let me keep this one for free and send the right one. So once they do, I'll be giving them shout outs and recommending you guys and, and I'll probably be buying some more stuff from them instead of the LT Fishing Store, which I've kind of gotten away from here lately. But as I get out of here, I'm going to try to catch one more bass right over here for you guys. So get out, go bass bonds up for yourself, but whatever you do, make sure you have fun doing it. We're gone, right? Stay tuned for the showstopper. I'll be honest, definitely not my best outro ever. But if I can catch a fish right here, it'll make it all worthwhile, right? What are the odds there's something way up in there that nowhere, no bait can go, right? Hang on, you guys want a showstopper? I would normally throw my popping frog, the Booyah popping pad crasher, but we, I'm going to throw this way up into there. I've already lost the ability to walk a frog. Bullfrog, watch this cat. Right. Oh, look at that. What was that? Alright, anyway, back to this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Come on. That is way up in there. Oh my god. Did he get it? I don't feel it. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, I hope that I'm saving that footage. I'm gonna come right back. Oh my God. Oh my God. He totally missed it, guys. He totally freaking missed it. Did you guys see that? There was a huge fish up there. Huge. Oh boy, got it again. Same exact cast. Oh my God. Am I record? Oh my God, I'm recording. Watch this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hicklin, do not put your... That drag is good. Do not put your finger on that freaking spool. Yank as hard as you can. You totally missed it. Get on that. Got him. That may not be the same fish, but it is. Oh, that's a nice one, though. That, if that's the same one, man, I could have swore it was twice as big. Get up here. Get. Oh, my gosh. Boys and girls. Oh, that's a giant. It's another giant. Ooh. Oh, get over there. Get. I told you guys I'd get a showstopper. Ooh. I told you guys. Oh, my. Get over here. Do not come off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Get over here, all this stuff. Come here. Get in the boat. Oh, you big fat. <sighs> get up here. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> that, my friends, is the best showstopper that we've ever had on Bass and Bonsai. For sure. My goodness. The Lingle variant MK9 does the job with big 15 pound test. It's a plastic reel, I know. 13 fishing, fate black. Uh, what's funny is, I was watching, uh, real quick, <sighs> Matt Allen with Tactical Bass and talk about that is like his finesse rod, a medium. That is a, like a medium heavy. Anyway, oh boy. Okay. We're definitely going to get a weight on this one and show you guys. Oh boy, come on. Power on. All right, here we go. Zeroed out. I think my scale's wrong. It shows that fish only weighs four pounds and seven ounces that is a freaking five plus for sure I think my scale may be wrong I don't know it's been 
set in this boat is bound and determined to get buffed in that freaking channel. Anyway, I'm scaring off stuff over in that area. All right, it says it's zeroed out. Let me try it again. It only shows this bass at four pounds, seven ounces, but I would swear that is a giant. Look at that freaking bass. How long is it? It's, that bass is huge. All right, anyway, without further ado, we're gonna try to let old girl go right over here. You guys wanna watch. Then I'm gonna try to catch another fish out of here. But... Thank you very much. I'm gonna kiss this one. This one is for sure a kisser. Look <laughs> at that beautiful bass. Giant, giant, giant largemouth bass. Okay, well, we're already over here. And I've said it before that the only reason that I missed it the first time, if that's the same fish, was just the fact that uh, it, it totally missed the bait. But these booyah popping pad crashers and this just regular booyah, I just love how they, uh, how they're designed. I don't know if I ever hear them boys. I was talking about Matt Allen on Tactical Bass, and I don't know if I've ever heard him talk too much about the booyah stuff. But it's got like a tapering down profile. And those, they just flat out work. 